Hey, Fuzzy Goat family. Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. I just love coming in here on Tuesdays, especially when I had a productive weekend of knitting so I get to show you stuff because other people in my family don't appreciate it as much. But I have a couple fun things I wanted to share with you today. We have our little alpaca bears back in stock. We have two sizes. This is, we'll call this one medium, right? And then there's a yes, smaller small. little guy. They are so soft. Um, yeah, cute little guy. Um, and then, what else is going to show you? I, we have this new book in, Patty Lyons Knitting Bag of Tricks, which I have one. I have not started reading it yet, but it has over 70 san sanity saving hacks for better knitting. So who would not need that book? So yes, I just happened to look real quick at the, um, content and it talks about building, um, a better bind off so who wouldn't like that talks about cast on so there's some really good um, information in this book so this is Patty Lyons knitting bag of tricks okay so let's just back up a little bit I just got so excited um hope everybody had a good weekend like I mentioned um, I had a good weekend we had some wedding shenanigans which I haven't been to a wedding this light is just shrinking as I'm talking so I hope it's okay isn't that weird okay hold on raise you Okay. Um, so anyway, I had some wedding shenanigans and, uh, which was a lot of fun. Like I just hadn't been to a wedding in forever. And I guess kind of between my kids aren't quite, quite ready yet for that. Thank goodness. Um, but what was I going to say with that? So didn't get as much knitting done, but I, one thing I will say, I got to knit a little bit on every one of my projects and I cast on a new one. So that's what makes me excited. And I will say this, this is probably going to be a little controversial, but I will say it anyway. Today is November 1st and I have put on Christmas music in my car. So I'm very excited about that. That just makes me happy. I don't know. Sometimes I do skip around and not, you know, listen to all the time. But hello, Bonnie and Luann and Cindy. Thank you for watching. I have my little bear here with me this, to this afternoon. All right. So where do I want to start? I have a couple things I want to show you. We have got a restock in of the yarn for breathing space um we didn't do kits because it's it's hard with sweaters because of sizing and such but we do have yarn in for it we have emma's the blue a navy blazer is the blue and then this would be 80 80s rewind sorry so that would be your color work in here um it's a real fun sweater so yes you can get the pattern on ravelry and we have these two yarns. So depending on your size, that would de determine how many skeins you need of each. Okay? And again, that's Emma's. Emma's yarn. All right. And the other thing I wanted to show, I made this as a shop sample. I believe it was last year. I could put it on today. I'm pretending that it's warm outside, but it, I mean, cold outside. But it's not. It's it's rather warm. This Oh, the sweater. I meant to look up the name of the sweater. I'll put the link in. It's a Marie Green sweater that I made a couple years ago um, with some fun cables on it. I'll check your Ravelry. No, you won't. <laughs> Kate says she'll check my Ravelry. I'm like, don't do that. It's not there. I'm not very good. I'll find it for That you. one might be there. I can't remember. There was a time I was really good at it. But this, um, oh my gosh, let's see. This is Chunky Yarn um, for the Franca. The pattern is called Vespertine. It was super fun to do. There's some bobbles, there's some cables, there's some increases, and there's some ribbing. Very, and it just kind of fits over your shoulder. Uh, we, I did it in this, oh, well, hold on, let me tell you the color. I know I'm going to mess it up. Post office? Post box? Post box. Oh, I got it right. Post box, which is the red and white, which is very holiday-esque. Holiday we have a great kind of a pinky purple. This color is called Granada. Um, and it only took two skeins. That's the other beautiful thing. I used it was on a 15, and it was 216 yards. So I think one of these have 100 and something, 114. Yeah, so two skeins. I had a very little bit left when I was done. And if you could feel it, it is so squishy soft. Like feeling the yarn, yes, but like when I once it's knitted up, oh, really soft. And then we have this fun one. I'm gonna colors this. This is Azalea, of course. Azima. This, a yes, my sweater. A-Z-I-M-U-T-H. Azima. That's right. I forgot. That's, yeah. 
this is the Marie Green sweater. DK weight. So we got that nice fun one. And then we also have this pretty blue and white. This one is called Starry Night. And then you could also do it. Well, I have this one too. This one we have not put into um, the skeins yet. I mean, they're, we haven't wound them, if that makes sense. Uh, they just We just got these in it. This caramel, I think, is the color name. Butterscotch. Caramel butterscotch. Some kind of candy. Um, but you could also do it in these fun striping ones that we have. These are Zoo, what do we call these, Zulu? Oh, these are getting really hot on my lap. Um, oh, Kozu, sorry, Kozu. We have several different colorways, but you could do something like this for that. Again, that pattern is Vespertine, I think. I'm saying that right. Um, but that's that pattern, okay? So I'm gonna put these down here for now. All right, what else? Um, okay, so projects, what do we wanna start with? I have the Hardigan first up on the docket. This is the sweater that I'm making for my, I wanna I don't have a picture because <laughs> my friend, Trisha, I have finished what we were gonna call the back. And I was pretty excited because sometimes you just have to get it on the needle and just start. And so I, this is just the ribbing on the bottom. Um, let's see if I can tell you, it doesn't really matter. It's it's not just a two by two ribbing, it's a little fancier. It's got this one right here is um, like a raised rib. Uh, but anyway, so now I'm finished with that. So now I'm getting ready to go into the pattern work. And my, the plan is on this one is to make the front a little shorter uh, because it, I, the back is a little longer than I think Trisha wanted but I think we can adjust. So that, it's pieced together, so I think we're gonna be okay. I'll probably not join the hem, obviously, because this is about an inch shorter than the back, and just leave it uh, slant, uh, slip. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is hard again, fingering weight and Spud and Chloe fine, and it's color tutu. So that's, that's that one. I feel like sometimes just starting that other side is like putting on the second knee, the second sock on your needle, if you were to knit socks, which I do not. All right, uh, the next one, this one I really want to get further along. Maybe I'll work on this tonight, I can't decide. This is the Promenade Blouse. Okay, well, it's feeling heavier than, yep, yeah, let's see, okay. So this is using DK, um, DK weight here, and then this is like a mohair Surrey silk, super soft and as you can see it's kind of let me if I do it this way maybe you can see yeah it's a little, not really see-through but airy maybe it's a better way but no. um, you do switch needles for each when you switch um, the weight yarns which is it's, it's just knitting off of one onto another you just have to remember to do it and I think I've got I don't know I think that maybe three inches maybe six more inches in the body and I, I think that's what she has on the pattern. So I do need to measure it because hers is pretty, I mean, it's a blouse, so it's kind of big and I don't think I want that much material. So we'll see. I definitely need it longer than this. We're going to say yes to that and maybe, maybe four or five inches. I don't know, but it's fun. It's like, I don't have to think too much except for changing the needles out. All right. So that is the promenade blouse. Here, Mr. Fuzzy Goat, hello. All right, the next one is my color work sweater. Oh, yes, yeah, I got really excited about this one too. Bear down, it's really warm. So, I have a lot of projects going on. As you can tell, this is the Forest Land pattern um, by Jen Steingast. It's color work. I have one more row to do my color work. Really happy. My color work, I'm using Feederbrook, and I forget what color it is, but it, I, it's so much fun watching the colors change. The color I'm using for the main color is Mist, and I have one more row of my chart. You might ask, why didn't you just finish it last night? Because then I'd know I wanted to go to separate sleeves, which is be another few more. And so like I wanted to touch my other project so that is why but I shall finish this separating the sleeves I don't know that makes me excited too also also I will say I finished my fall so that's pretty exciting too the gray so I have one one ball down and 
I always get excited when I separate the sleeves because it makes your circumference smaller and it goes much faster. So that's just my little tidbit. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is the, we're doing the class on this sweater, which has been a lot of fun. It's always fun to see the colors that other people pick and a lot of that kind of stuff. So we've been having a good time with that one. All right, so that's Forest Land color work. Then, oh yeah, so I did cast, uh, like, I think I cast it on last time. Oh, somebody's asking me when I have multiple projects. How do you how do I work out which ones I'm gonna work on is that what you're asking that's a really good question and I have probably too many right now because when I sit down I don't work long enough on one to see progress if that makes sense so a lot of times which one takes priority is maybe one that I'm almost done with or maybe it's a color I want to work with or you know need to get done um, because I did cast on the blanket for my nephew's baby too. But, so that's a very good question. And like when you have too many projects, and that's why I like coming in here and, and having to show you guys, but you know, like I feel like I want to be able to show progress. So I do try to do a little bit on each. My big knitting days, I think I've told you guys, are Sundays and Mondays. And um, so otherwise in the evenings, I, I usually just work on one. Um, but on Mondays and Sundays, I might work on multiple ones. And my husband says that's a great question. He asks that all the time. How many projects do I have going on? Yes. Well, it also allows me to play with different colors and different yarns. So this is a sample that I'm working for the shop out of this um, Knit a Little by Marie Green. Yes, say Marie Green. Sounds like I'm saying Marie Green. Slow it down. Slow it down. The pattern I'm making is called Biddy B Yoke Chart. And I just wanted to show you a picture of it. It is, it's got a little bit of texture going on. Yeah, there you go. You can see in the bottom and the top. Otherwise, it, this is all pearl. I don't mind purling. If you don't like purling, you can always turn it inside out and knit it. You know, but then when you're doing the chart or the, the texture stuff, you'd have to reverse it. Um, what was I going to say real quick? This has, it's a DK weight, has multiple sizes. This book is great. Um, it's got some great sweaters, different weight yarns and everything. This one happens to be a DK. It goes from zero to six months. All the largest size is an eight to 10 year old. So that's kind of cool. And what else was I going to say? I guess that's it. I wanted to see... Yeah, anyway, so it's got a little bit of chart work. Not, I mean, it's really just this, that's the pattern. Something that I hadn't done before. So it is, like I said, pearl. And then in the chart, they have knit one below. So let me see if we can see that. I think I just finished that row, so I was kind of curious what that was gonna look like. Let's see. This is our brushed Surrey, our brush, brushed cotton, sorry, um, from Pasquale. From Italy that I'm going to in a few weeks um, so we have some more of this this color is rose I'm not sure if we have any more rose we have other some other colors and the size that I'm making only uses four four, four balls yeah let's see if we can see that chart or the I don't know that you can I because I haven't really done anything more with it let's see you can see something's happening like here yeah but anyway, so I, I plan to get a little further along to see how that stitch is going to make the pattern. Uh, this is, like I said, a brushed cotton. Um, oh, I like the halo. It kind of has a halo effect. So Very pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right. Then the size I'm making is a 4T, which is why it looks so small. The last thing I wanted to show, if I can find it, yes, it's down here, is I did, uh oh, oh, lordy. I did cast on the um, sweater for my nephew, sweater, the blanket for my nephew's baby that is due in December. Uh, it is just a pretty simple blanket, like with a slip stitch. Um, I've just basically done the bottom 
Oh, I don't know if you can see it. They have, it's, they call it a moss stitch. I think I call it a seed stitch, but so the bottom and then the border. And then the middle, you've got just kind of that slip stitch little pattern going on there. This is called Lear. Somebody told me how to pronounce it. L-L-Y-R, baby blanket is Lear. So that's as far as, let's see, no, maybe I got a little farther. This is the bottom. I'm using, uh, it's actually, I think an Aran weight, kind of heavy. And there's just a little slip stitch action. I can't probably see it yet because I've just done a couple rows of the pattern. This is all just the border. This has been a fun yarn to work with. It's got some thicker, thinner spots. Maybe not good for beginners, but it's fun. I don't have a problem using it. Uh, and I love the colors in it. At the time when we got the yarn, we did not know the gender. But it is a boy, it's a boy. And I think this will be just fun. And my sister says, well, you know, be good because then if they have a girl, I said, no, I want this blanket to go with this baby all its life. It's supposed to just go with it. And then we make another one if they have a girl, which I hope they do. Because they're just some really cute little girl stuff. We have a really cute sweat or sweater dress here in the shop that I just want to make. We got a sample using that earth stripey fingering stuff. Super fun. All right. I think that was all I needed to talk about today. Um, oh no, I have one more. Oh my gosh, how did I forget this? I have two more, two more. <laughs> oh Lordy. Okay, so for those of you that have been wondering, I have not finished my sister's, sister's scarf, speaking of my sister, um, but I did pick it up last night and I worked on it for a little bit. This is, uh, oh, that looks like I have a stitch I dropped over here. No, maybe not. This is um, Caladium. Caladium. This is using fingering. This is uh, Copper Corgi Spanish Moss. And I am more than halfway. I am, I am here to tell you, more than halfway. But these little balls seem to take a very long time to get smaller so yeah so I'm, I just need to sit down and do I think I did a repeat last night so that's fine I do think this will be excellent for taking on the plane if I don't finish it to finish it there but I don't know I, don't, I haven't figured out that whole plane thing and how I'm gonna knit on there because it's gonna be some prime time knitting so I got to figure that out so they don't take my needles or anything because that would be so sad and then I forgot, This is the, I have a comment on my little notes here that says, I'm not sure which one is winning the yarn or the pattern. So I know that that was some, people had some hard time understanding why I picked this yarn to do this pattern, but I did and I'm okay with it because I like them both. And this is um, Shandy by Baby Cocktails. She's a very cable-y kind of a person, which I love, I love her stuff. I have another one that I'm planning to do anyway so you can see maybe it's a very busy yarn just so you know I do recognize that there's a little pattern going on here there's a little braid so that's that's the left front and we've got the side and coming along here to the back you can see there's some by my markers you can see some braid activity going on there there is also, and I, part of me just almost was like, well, maybe I won't do it. Although I can see what's happening. I can see it. Um, there is a little, a slight pattern in this section here. Um, almost just like a, not, not a braid or a cable, but just like um, slip, slip, knit, knit two together. Kind of make one right, make one left. So it's just kind of making a little design. Where There's one on the other side and I can't find it on this side. But... I probably could just knit that, but it's fine. It just, it's more, it's, it's not, keeps me going, I guess what I'm trying to say. Even though you may not be able to see it, it uh, keeps me going, not, it's not just knitting. So then we come across to the other side where my cable is, my braid, and my cable needle, it's right there. So I think it's cool, this construction is just all the way, it's not in the round, but it's, I'm not gonna be piecing, which is really cool. Yeah, so it's a big cardigan. And I do, I do acknowledge the fact that I have busy yarn and a busy pattern. Well, not a busy pattern, but a pattern going on that we may not be able to see all the detail. But I can see it, so that's all that matters. 
Anyway, okay, so now I think I have covered everything that I wanted to do. And yeah, I look forward to catching back up with you next week. And I've got Sandra watching and Suzanne, Suzanne Boyd. Hello, Suzanne. Suzanne was at the wedding too, and she had some shenanigans going on. And um, yeah, so I, I, I think that's all I got for you guys. So my plan is to busy, busy, busy this week so I can show you more progress because I love sharing that with you guys. Love to help you guys. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Lynn says that I inspire um, to do your own thing. Yes, we talked about that today in the shop. Somebody wanted to know. She came in with a shawl and she wanted to do an eye cording. And I told her she should do it. And if she didn't like it, she could always take it out uh, on the edge. Like she was just about done. But anyway, I do think you should make it your own project. But check out our website, fuzzygoatyarns.com. Please text us, email, or call us if we can help you plan a project. I helped... Um, Joe. It was Joe today, right? We'll do some fun sweaters, so I'm excited about that. And thank you, Suzanne, my sweater that I'm wearing today. And yes, so um, we'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great week wherever you are. I hope you're seeing some beautiful colors. Take care.